What's good, YouTube? Andre here with the DM Network. Y'all, today I want to talk about May 9th, which is Goku Day, and what that could potentially mean for Dragon Ball Game Project Z. Before we get into all that, if you're new to the channel, click the subscribe button, click the bell icon so you don't miss any of the notifications. Also, you can follow us on all of our social media outlets. If you're on the PS4, hey, send me a friend request. Let's get on some games sometimes. DM Gaming 5, Twitter at DM Gaming 5. Twitch at DM Gaming 06 because five wasn't available. And then an Instagram at the underscore DM underscore network. Now, on with the video. So, yes, May 9th is Goku Day. Now, if you've been paying attention in the Dragon Ball world, you know that they did a Super Dragon Ball live stream. And in that, they flashed an image of Super Saiyan Blue Goku done in the same art style that was done in the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie. And what's interesting about that is they said that when Super comes back, it's going to be done in that art style. Um, and so that's leading people like Geekdom and other Dragon Ball YouTubers to believe that they're going to announce the, officially announce the return of Dragon Ball Super, or it could be the announcement of a new uh, Super Dragon Ball Heroes saga or series. Um, and that's all well and fine. That's not what I'm here to talk about. I'm here to talk about the fact that it is Goku Day. And I know that may not sound like much for us, but that is a huge freaking deal over there in Japan. Goku Day is a big deal. Literally to have a day named after a character literally tells you something. You see what I'm saying? And I think that would be the perfect opportunity to announce or give more information about a game that is literally the story of Goku. The game is say the game is through the eyes of Kakarot. You see what I'm saying? So what better day to release new information about this game, perhaps a title and a trailer and some screenshots, than on Goku Day, which is really, that this is a real good possibility. I'm going to tell you why it's a really good possibility, because they do need to kind of build some hype going into E3. Seeing as that they hadn't said anything since January, they know that some people probably have forgot. And what better way to hype up their E3 or Comic-Con uh, announcement of the game if they so do it there? They could still not even do it there. They could do it separately. But, you know, I have to digress. You know, they did Xenoverse at E3 and stuff. So, you know, it's kind of goes comic con stuff like that but what better way to do it than to build up hype going into that so that people know to pay attention to that and stuff like that you know kind of like a a preview in a sense goku day i i would be very 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 surprised if on goku day they don't say something about dragon Ball project z because in my opinion it's the perfect opportunity it's Goku Day for like the hundredth time I've said that already in this video. So I don't know, man. I, I really think they will, but at the same time, it was like Goku's birthday or some a couple days ago. They didn't say anything, but that was around the time Super Dragon Ball Heroes was coming out and stuff like that. You know, it is what it is. But this day is coming up, and the day is May the 9th. So you want to uh mark your calendars on that day. Um, and I'm just trying to see uh, what day that's going to fall on. May the 9th falls on a Thursday. Very interesting. Information could come out at any time. But also, May. It's going to be May. So that means another V-Jump you know, uh, magazine. Could we see some potential spoilers in the next issue of V-Jump magazine that goes into the 9th? I don't know, y'all. It's just crazy. It's crazy because I'm excited because it makes sense that they would say something before E3. But, hey, we've been wrong before. This is all speculation at the end of the day. It's just very interesting information and very cool to have something to talk about. Uh, what do you guys think? Let me let me know in the comment section down below. Thumbs up if you think that May the 9th we'll hear something. Thumbs down if you think we won't. Comment down below what do you think we will hear or when. Because, like I said, it's not even guaranteed that we'll hear anything at E3. They, they hadn't even said anything about E3. You know, is Bandai Namco going to attend E3? I don't, I don't really see them. I mean, if they attend E3, 
it's going to be just for this game because they literally have they don't have anything else to to really talk about and it's not so much that bandai namco would attend e3 it's a lot of times what they'll do is uh they may have well okay let me back let me back up bandai namco is definitely going to be at e3 we know this for a fact because they're even having a contest on their website where you can win tickets to E3. So they're definitely going to be there. So the question rather is, what are they going to show? Uh, Yeah, Dragon Ball Game Project Z. What else would they have to show? I mean, I would imagine they, they show off their Dragon Ball stuff. Maybe uh, season two of... More of season two characters for Dragon Ball Fighters with maybe Broly and, and Gogeta, Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta. Also, um, well, you do have the DLC pack coming out for uh, Xenoverse 2 in June. That also comes out in June. So, I mean, it, the stage is set. They have some stuff to talk about, and it could be an all Dragon Ball kind of thing. Because I don't see any other major titles coming out unless they have some new games to announce for the following year and stuff like that, the opening quarter of 2020. So I don't know, y'all. It's going to be very interesting. It, I'm really crossing my fingers, and I'm hoping that they are going to announce uh, more about this game on Goku Day, at least a title and perhaps a trailer. And then perhaps at E3, we could see some actual gameplay and get a, a release date for a potential beta or a demo, depending on how the game is structured. Like I said, if it's an online based game, it's going to be a beta because they're going to need to test the servers. But if it's an offline single player game, then hopefully a demo because CyberConnect 2 has done demos for the Naruto games. So it would only make sense for them to do one for this game as well. But that's all I got, y'all. Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section down below. Appreciate y'all for tuning in. Till next time, thanks for watching. Peace.